Bonjour. We have just explored converting between decimal, base 10, and binary, base 2, numbers. But those are not the only bases available. In fact, we can have numbering systems with any base, 2, 3, 8, 19, you name it. But two other bases that are particularly important are base 8 and base 16. The word for base 8 is octal. You may notice the prefix oct is the same one used in octopus and octagon. The word for base 16 is hexadecimal. There are two prefixes here, hex meaning 6 and deci meaning 10. Combine those and you get 16. This chart shows how we can count from decimal 0 to 15 in all of the major bases, including binary, octal, and hexadecimal. The binary column we have seen before, so let's start on the octal column. In base 8, the largest possible digit is 7. So you can see that for the numbers 0 through 7, the octal count matches the decimal count. But then to reach 8, we need to use the next digit position. The one on the left carries a weight of 8, so this number has a value of 8 plus 0. Similarly, let's look at decimal 12. In octal, the 1, 4 indicates 8 plus 4. If we were to extend this chart to decimal 16, then the octal representation would be 2, 0. Now for hexadecimal, or base 16. The largest digit available in this system is 15. We don't have single digits in our Arabic numeral system to get that high so we borrow some letters. Note that decimal 10 equals hexadecimal A, 11 equals B, and so on up to 15 equals F. If we were to count higher than decimal 15, then we would need to use a second hexadecimal digit. For example, decimal 16 equals hexadecimal 1, 0, and decimal 20 equals hexadecimal 1, 4. Most low-level computer instructions are given in hexadecimal. You will really see this in a later assembly language course. Why hexadecimal? First, it is better than decimal because there is a simple, direct conversion between hexadecimal and binary. No need for a dividing method. Second, it is better than binary because it uses far fewer digits. It gets very difficult to read long strings of zeros and ones. The conversions between binary, hexadecimal, and octal are relatively easy. Let's start with a hexadecimal to binary example. Each hex digit is equal to a 4-bit binary code. The shorthand name for a 4-bit sequence is nibble. To do the conversion, simply replace each hex digit with the appropriate nibble. Here, I write the given number with some space in between. Then I look at the 5 individually. Binary 0101 indicates 4 plus 1, so we know that is the nibble for 5. Hexadecimal C equals decimal 12. In binary, 1100 indicates 8 plus 4, so that is the nibble to use. F is an easy one to remember. It is the maximum hex digit, which equals binary 1111. And finally, hex 0 equals binary 0000. zero, zero, zero. It is not necessary to include the leading zero. Mathematically, it does not change the value of the number. However, the sequence may be stored in a 16-bit register, in which case the zero will be present in memory. Now let's flip it around and go from binary into hexadecimal. The first step is to split the binary sequence into nibbles working from right to left. This just takes careful attention to not let your eyes blur the ones and zeros. Then, we simply convert each nibble into its hexadecimal equivalent. 0101 0, 1 represents 4 plus 1, or 5. 1100 0, 0 represents 8 plus 4. This is 12 in decimal, or C in hexadecimal. And so on to the end.
Working between octal and binary follows the same procedures just discussed, except that octal numbers correspond to 3-bit binary codes. So, to go from octal to binary, look at each octal digit individually and replace with the appropriate 3 bits. 4 becomes 100, 6 becomes 110, and 3 becomes 011. Here, I dropped off the leading zero. Finally, here's an example of converting a binary number into octal. Working from right to left, split the binary sequence into three bit chunks. Then, replace each three bit code with its octal equivalent. So, 000 becomes 0, 101 becomes 5, and so on to the end. Okay. That was a lot of little procedures I showed you. None of them are especially difficult, but be on your guard against mistakes. It is easy to lose focus and skip a one or add an extra zero.